All right, so I've been thinking a lot about this and it has been written in most of my books, especially the ones uh, talk about leadership, uh, crisis leadership, situational leadership, all of these things is a pillar of global stability. So in times of crisis, the essence, the, the importance of true, true leadership becomes glaringly evident. A solid leader that's not just a figurehead, a title, a ranking, a position, none of that, but truly is the one who's holding the torch of hope, guiding country and nation through the storm with such an unwavering resolve and a visionary. A leader's medal is tested not in times of peace, but in the crucible of crisis, and I just made that up. <laughs> This powerful statement encapsulates the critical role of leadership when the world is on edge, as we are experiencing right now, especially in the last few years. <laughs> so global challenges today, ranging from what we have endured the last four years, pandemics, climate change, to economic instability, and geopolitical tensions which demand leaders who can navigate this complexity, these complicated paths and routes and roads that we travel through with such agility and with such grace. So effective crisis leadership, as I call it crisis leadership, involves um, those who can make a decisive action with clear, clear communication and the ability to inspire with confidence amidst uncertainty. And this is what we need currently. Leadership like this one. Leaders must demonstrate empathy. That's foremost important. Demonstrate empathy, a genuine empathy, not just empathy where people want to hear, right? We call it sugar coat. We call it lip service. That's what I call it, lip service, sugar coating it. But leaders must demonstrate genuine empathy and with resilience, you know, and also fostering that sense of unity, fostering sense of unity and purpose within their own communities. And we need a strong collaboration with other leaders as well. All right, so here's another um, statement that I'd like to share with you and I just made this up. In the darkest hours, it is, the clarity of leader's vision that lights the path to recovery. Isn't that so true? <laughs> In the darkest hours, it is the clarity of leader's vision that lights the path to recovery. And we just witnessed this, by the way, in this past weekend. Um, I met this one out, this quote. It, it, it highlights the importance of foresight, you know, vision and strategic thinking leaders who can anticipate future challenges and prepare accordingly are the ones who can who can really turn adversity into opportunity we witness it throughout history and we just recently witnessed this in the last hours last couple of days so a robust leader instills that trust maintains transparency, genuine empathy, and leverages collective strength to overcome obstacles. And they are not just, you know, problem solvers, a quick solution makers with decisive actions, right? But visionaries, visionaries who can transform crisis into milestones of progress we call it progress, right, Nikki? So visionaries who can transform um, into miles, crisis into milestones um, of progress. Visionaries who can transform crisis into milestones of progress. The world needs this type of leaders today who are not afraid to make tough decisions in times of crisis not those who's going to be hiding behind computers, behind teleprompters, 
behind keyboards. The world needs leaders who are not afraid to be bold. That's what we need. Those who can make tough decisions, who can rally people towards a common goal, not, not be afraid. Even though that we disagree, we still yet have to come together, not forcefully, but understand needs leaders who are not afraid, who can rally people towards a common goal, and who remain steadfast in their commitment, values, to the greater good for everyone. So I, so I must share this without mentioning what had happened you know, recently, the recent incident in Butler, Pennsylvania, where, where, where shots were fired at a rally for former President Donald Trump, you know, really underscores the volatile nature of today's political landscape, the climate, the critical need for strong, unifying leadership. The, the former president was unfortunately injured. However, by some divine intervention, he is safe today. But the event has heightened awareness of the challenges leaders face in ensuring safety, well-being, and stability during turbulent times as we are experiencing today. So I just want to share my thoughts on this uh, crisis leadership. And, uh, in today's world, that's who we need a strong leader, crisis leader, nothing all of that. All right, this is Nikki Dare. Thank you for listening. Stay safe and always stay vigilant at all times. Wear that condition yellow wherever you go. All right, stay safe, you guys. God bless.